Nicola Grand Prix and now we're waiting for the car parade. Racing has stopped for the lunch break, the opening ceremony, and they're having a car parade and they're bringing in two or three dozen cars. They're gonna parade around the track, come in and park in the car parks. And we're gonna see the best of Southern tuning. I mean, okay, this is my fourth time here. I've been to Cars and Coffee twice, but really we had a big mix of Bangkok cars at those other Cars and Coffees events here. It's pure the South, apart from one or two cars jumping into the parade that are from up north. So we're gonna see the best of Southern cars. And here they come, they're rolling in, and we got some pretty cool stuff rocking in already. Clearly, drag is something special here. And I just got it very quickly before I carry on. Man, look at the view down south. That is absolutely what it's about, cars and girls. But the girls are gonna be mainly on my video report from the Grand Prix, which is coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Now we're gonna see these cars coming in and then take a look at some of them closely and check out what the Southern scene is like. Right there is Street Doc, and he looks pretty preoccupied, so we won't stop on him. Anyway, we got a cracking mix of Southern cars and quite a lot of Sephiros, and I'm just gonna go right here because this Sephiro here, I actually saw this morning when I was leaving my hotel and I was on a motorbike and I'm thinking that looks pretty nice with that fitment, with that arch extensions and it zoomed past me and I didn't have time to see it but I've caught up with it now and there's quite a few Sephiros here actually. Some quite nice cars here. This Corolla looks really, really good with a deep body kit on it and these wheels, endless brakes in the back there. That looks really, really nice. I like that and I kind of like this FD as well with the wing with the Mugen batching, the roof rack on it. And then we have a couple of local cars. You know this car super well. The most famous car in the south of Thailand and the most famous car guy in the south of Thailand and Kate over there as well. I'll be back in two minutes. And then we have this 200 SX, which is an absolute machine. The owner right here, I love this car. Now, Someone has mentioned to me before that I don't talk about 200 SXs very often. And I said, maybe it's because usually it's such a nice shape, they're always stock. This one is a long way from stock, so I'm going to talk about it. It's running on these Blitz wheels, got 205, 40, 18s jammed in there. And these lights pop up and down like crazy. Some really neat details on that. The door mirrors, the skirts on it. Man, this is a very nice car, sunroof. It's got an extra wing on the back there and you can see all the events he's been to, cars and coffee here, own branded t-shirts. This is a very famous car in the south of Thailand. And again, these custom rear lights, very nicely done. And actually I like this big kind of tailgate spoiler here, really long, really thick. So we've done 200 SXs. Then we have another Alpha, which is a famous Southern car, which has its engine swapped out. And I actually saw this on three spokes the first time, and they look good. Honestly, these BBS style wheels split rim also look good, but I really liked it on three spokes. And here we have a really clean S15 with a very nice composite boot. Then we've got an 86, a first gen with a rocket bunny kit. Man, that is absolutely full on, that is riding low, big carbon splitter on the front, and these gold but hexagonal bolts look great. Brembo's, this and bells all squeezed in there, and it is running on, I can't even see, 18 inch. Man, that looks good. A pretty nice EG, kind of drag focus. Bonnet is off. It's got forged carbon wings, forged carbon, in fact, front clip, advanced three spokes on it with Brembo's, and look at that, his case here, this is beautifully done all custom header on that and then at the front we've got a couple of drag cars that have come rolling in and my look at this you cannot go wrong with a classic corolla with a drag wing built on and color coded into it looks great big rear drag wheels and tires that is going to be fast for a corolla on the front he's cut out all the bonnet and you can see the intake here and the turbo just squeezed in there and a lot of cracking paint, I love that. And then he's got a real period style bib spoiler on the front and a cooler jammed in there. And then we've got a quite a famous drag car, a dino hat yai embossed into it, turbo there. Man, that is a very nice car. I've seen that at Bangkok Drag Avenue quite a few times. Headlights deleted, big air intake there, feeding it into the cooler. Beautiful car. But I just want to go back and finish on this Corolla because that 
is absolutely epic. And I also didn't say how wide he's got like a box arch coming out here. I think maybe five centimeters coming out in this super clean EK with a carbon lip spoiler on the front. So the car parade is epic. They're actually parking the cars up now. So it gives me an opportunity to just talk about the ones that I missed when I did a very quick walk coming down. And man, here's another drag focus EG. And I love this color. Big carbon drag wing on the back. He's got a carbon tailgate as well. And you can see that is beautifully finished. Carbon bonnet on it and the wheels. He's got the K's wheels. Man, that is absolutely beautifully done. And that is gonna be, I think, pretty handy over the quarter of a mile if it goes as good as it looks. So when I'm saying there's a big scene for A31s in the South like up north, it's the same like in Pankok. The owner here opens the bonnet and he's swapped out, as you'd expect. And this, I like a lot. It's really nice. It's got the racing number on it. Very, very clean. Got the Nismo wheels. They look great, obviously. And he's got a very small, kind of like little lip spoiler on there. 24 valve badge. And this is quite a neat car. It's kept it very, very original, but just a few details on it. And it really feels street focused, but a lot of work gone on under there and right here we have the first retro havoc t-shirt of the event and i wonder who that belongs to let's find out richard is probably the most famous car guy in the south of thailand and his mark one escort uncle blue it is probably the most famous car in the south of thailand as well so i'm sure he's introduced it for me before but i'm asking him again this is my car you know it's been built for more than seven years ago and it's a Mark 1 Ford Escort which we use a Toyota engine 3S which is more reliable than any engine and it's been trouble free all the while where we have been using it for more than seven years and we went to Chang Classic Car event last year and came back it's all intact and it's still running until now. If you watch my channel, you now have a soft spot for A31s and there is a good scene down here. Now this is my fourth time in Songkla and I've seen quite a few A31s and there's several on this parade today. That one there I just talked about when I was introducing them. I just want to come back and look at these two because I like this. It's kind of a bit rough and ready. It's got kind of like a rubberish lip spoiler on the front there and you can see the weave here looks great carbon bonnet real street ready car i like that a lot it's got some nice bucket style seats period style and it's got these arch extensions and again it's got nice brakes on it and it got a kind of like a little rubber lip spoiler on there all looks like it's been on the heat quite a lot then this one here which i alluded to before which i saw this morning when i was coming out of my hotel it drove past and i was on my motorbike couldn't stop and see it man big wing on the back carbon boot carbon roof although i think that is just a paste and then it's got these arch extensions which have been cut somewhat roughly to keep using the back door nice brakes on the back brake upgrades brake upgrade on the front brembos man this is quite the street racing works here we have a vios with a lot of upgrades and first of all this color is pretty unique it's got a color coded lip spoiler on the front that looks pretty neat but really the story is up here because we've got a perspex bonnet well it's got a carbon fiber surround to it he's got a massive turbo sitting there and a straight out pipe which he's put an aerosol can and a cloth in pretty wisely that no one drops anything down there today but it's very very clean volt racing wheels and he's got the belter badges on it so have a very nice ek coupe here with a new aero kit on the front and you can see the weave on there i don't know what it is but he's got a riveted plate here backyard special and he's got a straight out exhaust exit with a pretty cute cover to stop things dropping in so clearly this is a bit special he's got carbon fiber race mirrors and you can see this car it's very, very clean, very nice, not too over the top, Volk racing wheels. And we can see inside he's got a half cage. He's got a sequential shifter in there. So this is gonna be something special. It's got a spoon sport steering wheel that's been autographed and you can see the boss is an alloy boss. So this clearly something a little bit on the special side. And then we look at this city here 
And his K24 in there, man, I really like the way he's done the cam cover going from green to purple. That's quite unusual and real standout. And there's a lot of work gone on there with the header, with the piping, with the engine mounts. A lot going on. That city is a long way from stock and it's got all carbon fiber front clip on it. And you can see the wheels, the fitment. They are riding out through the arch and straight from one city to another. And this one, I can't see what's going on, but it does look like there's a few upgrades because you can see we've got AP racing calipers, discs and bells. But on the top of the roof, he's got, I think it's meant to be King Kong and he's got Kong power here and King Kong sitting on there. So clearly, I don't think this is going to have stock horsepower when you lift up the bonnet, but the owner is not around and I have no idea. This EG, man, there is so much going on there. His K-Series has had a lot of modification. Big turbo there, straight out exits, and you can see his header there. Looks very complicated. And then this EG, I have no idea what's under the bonnet, but it has got some very nice aero on it. You can see this splitter on the front. It's multiple plane, and he's got dampers to hold it in place dive plates on there and if we look around the side it's got carbon fiber style race mirrors a big skirt and on the back it's got a carbon fiber roof spoiler and he's got a bit of aero detailing going on there towing eye in the back very nice looking car in fact this eg with a full-on front end it's got a drag roof spoiler on there and he's got the biggest ball of nitrous you could imagine so this thing it's going to be an absolute rocket. I really like these Corollas, what people are doing here now. These kind of Corollas from two or three generations ago. I apologize, the racing started now. Anyway, it's really nice that people are putting a lot of thought into the modification because let's face it, these are taxis. They're not sexy cars, but this looks absolutely great. The red and the white, and you can see he's got big aero going on down there. All front end is all aero focus and small little lights in the front. And then we can see he's got a Perspex composite bonnet with a big Perspex, and this is all heavily modified. He's got a huge turbo going on there. So this is a long way from taxi spec, but I really like all this red and white and how he's color coded his K-speed wheels and he's got endless calipers. But I like the way he's color coded that with the red and the white. He's got a white skirt down there. And again, it goes the details right through here with a spoiler there. That is very, very nice. I think I need to like walk a little bit away from me. You can see a cage in there all chromed out. Let's just stand away slightly and look at that because that is neatly done. There's actually not that many Evos here today. It's got all new front end on it. And it is just absolutely cut out completely to get air in. Carbon bonnet, air exits. It's got narco ducts here. That is putting out a lot of power, clearly. It's running on raised wheels, big Brembo's on it, and quite a ride height. So this guy is focused on performance, not kind of posing. Big wing on the back with a carbon centerpiece. Very, very nice, very clean, all deep badged, black, menacing. The Dark Knight is here. Then we've got three Gen 186s here, and in fact, two are BRZs and one is Sion badged. And you can see it's got the STI lip spoiler on here. Very, very nicely done car. All the STI badging, twin exits on the back. Clean car, shiny wheels, the whole STI thing with D2 brakes. Then this one has got Brembo's. It's got a big carbon fiber lip spoiler on it. Looks pretty nice. And then we get to this one with the Sion badging, which is pretty popular. And this has got a lot going on here. Big aero upgrade on the front end, carbon fiber lip spoiler, carbon fiber coming out, flicking up into the aero, and a big Rocket Bunny style kit on the side. And then these wheels, split rim wheels, two colors, Brembo brakes, Rocket Bunny sign here, carbon end plates on the wing at least, and you can see the mounts coming down here and a carbon diffuser that is pretty aggressive. It's actually got a brake light or a rain light in the back there and a big two exits on it. So we got to the end of the car park and finally on the end, we have four cars that are not part of this parade, but I want to include here because it's great to throw them in. And we start off 
with this Ferrari as well. You can't go wrong here with the Ferrari style wheels, the Scuderia badges and the size of those calipers on ceramic discs are amazing. Then we have the Veilside 4509 GTR kit on this car, which you've seen quite a few times. And in fact, it was on my Bangkok Auto Salon video. This is a Supermark 4 with the crazy Veilside kit. And this was actually the demo car when Veilside built this kit number 000 and it arrived in Thailand a few years ago. So we need to talk to the guy from Veilside to explain this car because it is very, very special. So I'm gonna come back to him in a minute. Then we've got an RX-7 with a beautiful finish with this metallic paint on it and all this carbon front splitter and dive plates and a big cooler in there, beautifully done. And then we have the new front end on the 2024 r35 with those funny hexagonal style lights on it now i am not sure whether this is actually a new nismo car or they've just put a bumper on it because it's got a carbon bonnet aftermarket i tend to think this is probably a new front bumper that's been brought in aftermarket or a copy but certainly we get an idea of the latest generation styling clip of the r35 and it looks pretty good usual r35 pure aggression it's got carbon fiber shell seats kind of a low wide spoiler on the back end and then he's got quad exits as usual and all that aero detailing going on just look at the back of this rx7 as well because he's got a really nice led style lighting going on there and a big carbon wing man that is absolutely aggressive in fact we've got quite a few carbon details down here carbon racing style wing mirrors and you can see the aero the barge boards down the side and this really really nice green and he's the shell seats actually the padding is also in green so it all blends together so these four cars they're not really part of the parade but nice to fit them in on the end because they're all super interesting so this one is like a wheel side for 509 GTR. It came from the factory at real side and it number is 000 slash 100 is a demo car from the factory and it have been in Thailand for like 10 years past or maybe and the last owner is a uh, Sing or you can say you are set gala is the last owner of the car. And we just got some late arrivals just as I'm finished. We've got this Veilside RX-7, this S15, which I'm pretty sure I saw at Retro Havoc. 350Z, we've got some Civics. We've got actually quite a few more cars. I can see a Supermark 4. So you better have a quick look through these as well. So I got a bit extra that was unplanned. And while I'm checking out all these cars, who should I find right here? The CEO of Yokohama, Thailand, out here. Also checking out the cars. And then we've got some heavily modified Civics. See a lot of carbon fiber going on here. And he's got a forged carbon roof on it. In fact, we've got a lot of Civics going on here that have got a huge amount of work, a huge amount of carbon. And again, we've got the die plates in carbon and the front splitter. And down here, a lot of aero work going on with his side skirt and this channel here. Varus kit and then we got one more which is a new generation car and that is kind of less in your face but it's got big Brembos it's jacked down he's got a carbon bonnet which has just been painted but he's detailed some of the carbon parts and he's got a carbon front splitter on it as well and all that air intake going on which from stock gives you an awful lot already not a lot of Mark IVs here today but this one is really aggressive you can see the LED lights here Big aero kit, carbon fiber vents coming in here, all carbon fiber bonnet, and a really big kind of Rocket Bunny style kit with a Super GT feel to it. Man, that is very, very aggressive and a huge ducktail that is well integrated into the car. It's quite an interesting kit. I have no idea the name of it, but man, that is very different and it gives a lot of strength to this car. And we have a truck because this truck is pretty special. You can see everything's cut away and he's got coolers jammed in. But I've seen this at Carson Coffee twice and the bonnet flips up 
on either side, which I've never seen before. At Cars and Coffee, it was too dark to really show you it. It's so unique. But here, the owner is not around. So maybe if he turns off, I'll show you. If not, you can see how it flips up. And it's got these neat details in here. I like these as well. Well done project. And we look around the back, man. This is wide and he's cut all the floor out. A lot of custom suspension work gone on. All the leaf springs are gone and he's got coil springs in there. A lot of adjustable suspension going on. Air suspension, this is quite special. This Sylvia I saw at Retro Havoc and it looks absolutely amazing. And I just stopped one second. Hello. Anyway, this S15, I saw a Retro Havoc and man, sometimes when you're underground in a car park, you don't bring out the modifications and the form, but this stood out a mile. So it's nice to see this car come up here from Malaysia. And you've got another Malaysian car here as well. This 350Z, which is hugely cut out, kind of Bomex style there. And then two massive carbon fiber die plates and a big carbon fiber skirt, carbon fiber bonnet. And round the side, you can see a lot of work on. Swan neck mounts on his carbon rear wing. And this kind of super Legera type bumper sticking out, which I really like. It's a real race feel to the 350. And then very aggressive underfloor aero going on as well and two massive exits saturday night at the songkla grand prix We've just finished the terror unveiling and seeing the tent there it's all going on but out here the car show is still going on and he got pop band going so i'm going to walk a little bit past this otherwise it's going to distort me a lot but it's a good background if it doesn't distort me and the crowd love this pop bang anyway so you can see there's cars everywhere there's people everywhere and then they are clustered around that fd doing the pop bang man this is a good thing about pt they really put on a show they really put something for the crowd to come in watch the race cars and the race cars finished like four or five hours ago and people are still here they had the drift show they had the drag demo they had the hot laps with the gt3 cup unveiling of the terror all the prize givings everything going on loads and loads for the spectators to hang out and do and in the tent it is absolutely rocking in there so it's 8 30 saturday night i'm going to be out of here pretty quickly now but these people are going to be here for quite a while and if i walk you backwards you can see people are still walking in <laughs> This mighty egg. Now the light is going, but at least you can get an idea. It's split down the middle and it hinges up that way and it hinges up that way. That is completely crazy. And in fact, he's got lights going on here. A massive turbo here, man. This is unbelievable. One day I'm going to see it open completely in the daylight to show you. But I absolutely love this. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. And here's Don's Catrum, come down from Bangkok. He didn't drive it down, although I did ask him if he was going to drive it down because that guy is now hitting the kilometers in on everything. Anyway, for sure, he is going to be out lapping the track all night. Hello, welcome to Thailand. I'm Nico. Yeah. Hi. Thank you very much. in the middle of two headlights are popping off ticked off the list and here's a real quality 180 sx build you can see a lot of work with the intake with the turbo with the tanks, everything going on. And I like this body kit as well. High quality paint finish 
but it's got a real deep integrated bumper and spoiler and you can see the air intakes coming in here as well and also what works really well with it these split rim Volk racing wheels they work really really nicely it's on 225 40s and these are 18s a lot of nice details here a big strong skirt and these exits here give it a really nice shape it kind of flows into the 180 shape carbon wing on the back very very clean it got some extra carbon aero bits here somewhere in there are the top secret Supra Mark IV and GTR come down from Bangkok and whenever these cars turn out they completely stop the show they kill it dead I just look at it here now the crowd is completely mental and I'm gonna get nowhere near this tonight we've got an angry looking gorilla here now pop bang is the absolute fashion at the moment and here we have a pop bang show with a Vios an EK and an EG and look at all the crowd have come to see the noise or see the flames. <laughs> 